were an honor student. Yes, I was. Yep, so this is your gold cords. You put it underneath this so it stays, I think, so it doesn't slide off. Wow. Ah, look at you. You've got dressers. So <laughs> like, so like she up. So have a wonderful day. It's your graduation day here. <laughs> wonderful. Rain or shine, Rain it doesn't shine. matter. Yeah. I was a junior when you know the war came and we had to leave. So I never did go to Vashon High School as a senior. May 16, 1942 was the day that we had to leave. Papa Sam figured out that Vashon was a good place to raise a family. There was Papa Sam. Mama san, my older brother Yonechi, and me. My parents were farmers. We would go along and pick the biggest, the reddest, the juiciest berries and put them into these little boxes. This was all strawberries in here. You know, one of the memories I have is lying on the lawn and watching the clouds float by. You know, it's amazing the amount of memories that keep crowding in on my consciousness. It was on a Sunday. We had gone to Sunday school and to church, and afterwards, as we were leaving, one of the men said to my brother, well, your countrymen sure did it to us. President Roosevelt said in a statement today that the Japanese have attacked Pearl Harbor, Hawaii from the air. So I asked Mamasa, what's gonna happen to us? And she said, I don't know, Medisan. But whatever it is, we will handle it together. Living in that kind of environment where there were always soldiers, searchlights, barbed wire fences that enclosed us, and so many people, it was very, very difficult to get used to. They set up a school system. I remember I had to draw the keys on a piece of paper and pretend like we were typing. It was all imagination. One day, we had this loyalty oath that had to be answered. The no-no people signed no, they would not be loyal to a country that was treating us as aliens. Mama San said to me, 20 years from now, what kind of memories do we want to have of how we faced this difficulty now? And I think it was in that moment that the conflict became really clear. When I heard about that atom bomb being dropped, I remember dropping on my knees and just weeping. I had the relief 
yes, the war is over now, but also the devastation on my parents' homeland, even though they had made the United States their permanent home. A person has to feel loved in order to heal. The sense of solidarity within our family, our love for each other was always there. Each person is precious, special, irreplaceable, and we need to treat each other as though the other person is special. It's our great privilege and honor to graduate today, Mary Matsuda Gruenwald, class of 1943 and 2017. Today she'll be presented not only with a diploma, a copy also of the 1943 yearbook, as well as a copy of the 2017 yearbook signed by our students and staff. Congratulations, Mary.